Very nice. And first spike we have in, in this series. So um, if you have uh, spikes and if they are in your rotations. Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel. Today is the second episode of our series um, reacting to your rotations, reacting to my subscribers rotation. Thanks again to all of you who submitted um, their rotations. It's, you know, um, overwhelming to see so many people contributing to the channel. I say it very often, but this is also your channel and um, I'm super happy to see that you um, like to participate and so on. I'm super thankful, thank you very much. That's all I have to say. Um, let's dive in. We have so many nice shoes to discuss tonight. Um, let's begin. First rotation is submitted by Robin from Germany. Robin uh, submitted as the first shoe his New Balance Rebel V2 in that uh, blue, light blue colorway. Uh, very nice and Robin uses it as uh, his daily trainer and sometimes he does some speed work in it. Um, and I remember last week in the, in the previous episode of this series, we also had someone, I think it was Fraser, who um, was doing some speed work in the Rebel. Hard for me to, to understand that because I wouldn't do it, but um, again, it's, a, it's the purpose of this series to share different, um, different, you know, different shoe rotations and different ways of using um, the shoes. Second shoe submitted by Robin, and that is a lovely one. It's the Nike Dragonfly. Um, so this is the spike uh, that Nike released last year in 2020 for the Olympics that were cancelled and, and postponed. Um, there's a Zumex foam, a carbon plate, obviously some spikes and a very lightweight upper. It's a spike that I actually own and I'm not using a lot because I'm not doing much um, workouts in my spikes. Uh, but it's it's lovely and um, Robin uses it for track racing. Obviously it makes a lot of sense and uh, I don't know what distances Robin is, is running but this is a spike that can go from um, well legally under the world athletic rules from 800 to uh, above so 10,000 you know anything uh, 1500, 3000, uh, steeplechase, 5000, 10,000 whatever it's a great spike I'm actually considering a video this summer comparing some long distance spikes, including the Dragonfly and some others if I manage to get my hands on them, which is not easy. The Adidas and the others are quite difficult to find. So this actually may, may not happen, but uh, who knows? Next shoe submitted by Robin, it's the Puma Deviate Nitro, white colorway, white and some light um, green um, touches there. Nice colorway, um, nice colorway, no doubt. Uh, Robin has 160 kilometers on it and he uses it for long runs. I can understand that and it, it makes sense. Um, if you get a nice heel lockdown, which wasn't my case on, on this shoe, I think it's, it's a shoe that's very capable and that you can do lots of different uh, stuff with. Long runs, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so nice one, Robin. Then, quite funny because the colorway of the Nova Blast 4 shoe that Robin submitted is actually quite similar to the one of the DV8 um, Nitro. Also white with those green, green touches. Dark greens, but uh, nice as well. And this is a shoe that actually quite, has uh, quite some mileage on it with uh, 860 kilometers. Uh, quite surprisingly, the, the, the Fly Firm Blast um, midsole looks okay. I mean, it looks a bit... Um, dirty but you know I mean that's that's normal and um, but it doesn't look too compressed or too um, yeah I mean it, it looks it looks fine so um, Robin let us know in the comments if if the shoe still has some um, some cushion and some rebound after 860 kilometers also if the outsole is, is fine um, good to know and Robin uses it for easy runs um, here again makes sense I I'm not very familiar with the Nova Blast, but many people use it, uh, their Nova Blast for easy runs. Final shoe Robin submitted, it's the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent Ekiden Colorway 2020. It has 240 kilometers on it, which is um, nice. And the explanation for that is that uh, Robin is doing uh, his key speed workouts in it. I do perfectly understand because I do the same. Uh, and he has an X-Percent 2 with the zero kilometers uh, for road races. 
what is the colorway Robin of the of the second one you have very um, curious about that uh, thank you Robin for this it uh, very nice and first spike we have in, in this series so um, if you have uh, spikes and if they are in your rotations please submit them uh, very happy to, to discuss them I have very little knowledge about spikes but I only own two pairs and I'm not using them a lot one cross country and the other the dragonfly but um, I'm very keen to, to hear from you on uh, spikes all right, um, next up we have uh, Paddy Wiggle. Paddy Wiggle submitted a very nice picture uh, from the USA with uh, the dog underneath the table where the shoes are presented. Very nice, uh, sunny weather and um, I like the vibe. The dog seems to be uh, very happy where he's uh, sleeping or resting. So uh, nice. First shoe submitted by Paddy Wiggle, it's the Ultra Escalante Racer 2020 100 miles and Paddy Wiggle uses it um, for um, tempo workouts, threshold runs and short races. I wouldn't have expected this but um, I'm not very familiar with Ultra shoes and um, I know this is the, the racing oriented shoe but um, very nice to see someone actually racing in, um, in Ultra shoes. Um, second shoe, it's the Sekonic Invara 12, so going from left to right, Sekonic Invara 12. It's a shoe that Paddy Wiggle uses for daily training and recovery, um, and recovery runs. He specifies it's a 4mm drop, so I assume that Paddy Wiggle enjoys a lower drop for recovery runs in order to um, stretch the, the calves, which work actually quite well for some people. Uh, this shoe has 68 miles on it and it's a 2021 colorway, so uh, looking nice. To be honest, not my favorite colorway of the of the Sukani 2021 lineup, but uh, it's fine. There's another Sukani uh, to the right that that uh, speaks a bit more to me in terms of design. Uh, but in the middle, uh, we have the Ultra Taurin uh, 4.5 Plush uh, 2020, 105 miles on it, uh, and Paddy Wiggle uses it for uh, his easy runs and long runs. Um, so Paddy Wiggle seems to enjoy zero drop shoes and lower drops, um, zero for zero. And uh, after that, we get to, um, okay, it's, it's um, not the same order, but, and after that, we get to the Sukoni Endorphin Pro, which Paddy Wiggles, um, which Paddy Wiggle uses for uh, marathon and half marathon racing. I love the colorway. I must say I'm, I'm a blue fan and blue white with a touch of um, reds, I think looks very nice. So I'm a fan of the colorway, Sekoni Endorphin Pro, very solid choice for, um, for marathon and half marathon racing, no doubt. Uh, and at the far right, we have the Ultra Team 3 from 2021. Lots of miles on it, almost uh, 250. And um, Paddy Wiggle says uh, mountains, fire roads, road to trail, doesn't matter. Uh, seems to be quite a nice all rounder type of shoe and um, he will be getting the Superior 5 very soon to replace this one. Very nice, Paddy Wiggle, thank you very much. And, um, and yeah, I mean, very, very cool picture. I like the vibe. Next up, we have Bolabonski, who submitted um, a very nice picture. I don't know what type of wall that is, but um, it looks very, you know, industrial and um, I wish my walls here in the paint cave were uh, nice looking like this one. But anyways, um, so Bolabonski for shoe rotation. And going from left to right, we have the New Balance More V3 2021 71 miles. This is a shoe I'm really interested in and I'm thinking about a maximized type of shoe comparison, a mega battle with different maximized shoes. This one would be included. 71 miles, easy days, long runs. Uh, so that soft type of, of rides. Very nice. Um, then we have the Sekoni Endorphin Speed 2021, same colorway or at least same um, you know, variation of designs um, as the um, Sekoni Endorphin Pro that Paddy Wiggle submitted. This one has 120 miles on it and uh, Bolobonski is doing his tempo rounds and uh, daily rounds with it, which makes sense. Not many people, I think, are using this shoe as a daily trainer. Um, 
at least I think most people are like to, to use it for endurance, up tempo, and you know, picking the paces a bit in that uh, daily training regimen. But for pure, uh, easy, and lower endurance um, runs, I'm not sure many people use uh, the Sukoni Endorphin Speed, so it's nice to hear that someone actually does it. Um, then we have the ASICS Nova Blast 2 from 2021 in that um, white black, I think the white is silver, but it doesn't look like that on the, on the picture. But if I remember well, this colorway, it's more silver than um, white. Um, 125 miles on it. It's uh, Boldobonski's daily trainer. Very nice. And at the far right, we have the ASICS Hyperspeed from 2020, 65 miles on it. And this is um, Bolobonski's 5K racing or speed workout shoe. I'm not familiar at all with the Hyperspeed, but if you're interested in this shoe, you may ask a question to Bolobonski down in the comments, or at least from um, Bo's use, you know that it works for 5K races and speed workouts. It seems like a lower stack, hard to say on the picture, but maybe something like um, 28, 20, I don't know. Um, I need to look this one up. I'm not familiar with it, so I don't have much to say, but very nice picture, very nice um, harmony of colors also in, in, in Bose um, choices. So this is uh, quite a nice one. Thank you very much for submitting. Uh, Bolobonski and I didn't mention from the United States. Last one for today, we have Mike's rotation from the USA, Tennessee. Uh, and this is a very, very nice one. So let me just open the pictures. There you go. All right, first shoe for Mike. It's the Sketches Max Road 5. Um, I don't know if by the time this video publishes, my review of the Max Road 5 will be out and available. Um, but if it is, I'll put a link right here, upper right hand corner. Max Road 5, it's a fantastic shoe. Um, I'm really enjoying it myself and Mike is, is using it for long runs. It has 20 miles on it. Yeah, I mean, um, makes sense. Long runs for this shoe, I think it's the number one purpose and um, it, it makes total sense. Second shoe that um, Mike submitted, it's the Sukoni Freedom 4, 25 miles on it, tempo runs. You all know I love this shoe. Um, same here, if I remember, I'll put a link to my review upper right hand corner. I love the shoe. The colorway isn't, isn't the, the nicest ever, but it's simple um, and uh, the shoe works fantastically well for tempo runs. That's the way I use it myself. And um, yeah, very, very nice one. Next, we have the New Balance Rebel V2, 22 miles. And this is a shoe that Mike uses for his steady pace runs. Um, yeah, I mean, Anything that, that's not up-tempo, endurance, easy recovery, and I think by steady pace, Mike means um, nothing too, too crazy in terms of, of paces. It makes sense. Um, nice colorway, I think we, we saw it in um, Paddy Wiggles or um, Robin's rotation, I don't remember. Uh, sorry for that, uh, but nice colorway, and um, it's definitely a shoe that, that works for many people. I think it's the one that we, we saw the most in, in this series so far. Um, next from Mike, we have the Sokony Endorphin. No, 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 no. That's not what we have. Next from Mike, we have the Hoka Mac 4, um, 50 miles. Very nice colorway, very simple with that touch of red. I like it. I was a fan of the, the original colorway of the Mac 4, but this one is nice as well. 50 miles, and um, this is a shoe that Mike uses for his uh, heel reps. I actually never tried this shoe for heel reps, and I think this um, gives me an idea about which shoe I'm gonna wear next week for my heel reps. Never tried it, but uh, it, may, it may do the job, it may do the trick. Let's see, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna try it next week for my heel reps. Um, if I don't forget to take it with me on training camp because I'm leaving next week on training camp. Anyways, um, and shoe number five from Mike, it's a Hoga Clifton 7. Uh, 28 miles recovery runs. I think the Clifton is um, the recovery run shoe by, um, by nature. I mean, uh, it can do other things, but recovery runs makes a lot of sense. I very much enjoyed uh, Mike's um, rotation, very nice harmony between um, 
you know, different brands, different uh, type of um, foams, and one plated shoe with the H plates, uh, H um, carbon infused plates in the uh, Max Red 5. Interesting, I mean, um, different rotation, and I think there's also a lot to learn in, in this one for all of you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are enjoying this series. You can go check the first episode if you haven't seen it yet. If you're enjoying the channel, the content, this series, please do not hesitate to subscribe. Um, I think 75% of you watching this video aren't subscribed to the channel and I don't want to force anyone, but I'm more than happy to welcome you in the little community that's building here at an insane pace on the, on the channel. Thanks a lot for being here tonight. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, enjoy your, your runs, your rides on the bike and uh, go beyond your limits in your racing this weekend if you're racing. Bye-bye.